left arms out, you're synchronizing forward, step forward, swing, bodies at a 45 degree angle. Now you want to finish with your arm in a bent position. Very, very good how you step and hit together, but you want to finish with your um, body in a synchronized position. Your left hand when you finish has to be bent. It has to be bent. See how your left hand gets straight like this? It has to be bent. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Bent to bent. So it's going to be your momentum forward. So small little steps like a sprinter coming out of the blocks. Okay, hold up. So just slightly raise the right elbow. The racket face is facing the net post to the right. So then when you have to make an angular, when you have to make an adjustment, you change the angle of the racket face, change the angle of the racket path, the racket slows down. The racket has to slow down, so you got to change the angle of the racket face and the angle of the racket path. And once again, you, you lengthen your arm out, keep your arm bent. You see the racket alignment, the strings are facing the side fence. So same thing, your, both your right and left hand have to be bent, and when you finish the strings of the racket has to face the target, and not, not to the side. You want to have the strings be aligned to the target prior to the hit and after the hit on a forehand volley. Okay, side view. And then from right here, you just want to push it down. Okay? Just push your racket face down. So now you're able to travel way far away from your body. And then now just come straight up. Okay? But if you just keep your arm away from your body like this, then you're forced to come on the inside and swing away like that. Right? One more time. Turn slightly like this. Okay? okay? Keep the arm on the inside. Close your racket face like that. Yes? Okay. And then now turn more. Okay? Right here. Drop it. Good. And then now come. Oh, all right. 